Why does my bird keep going to my shoulder? How do I keep my parrot off my shoulder? Let's talk about that in this quick video. Alan here with Parrots & Co. And I have my Senegal parrot, Elfie Wealthy. And today we are talking about how to keep your parrot off your shoulder. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta ask your little feathered friend to step up. Hey Skittles, how's it going? And before you know it, starts walking up and goes straight to your shoulder. It just seems like no matter what, it's like the, the bird has Velcro stuck to its feet and it just wants to stick to the top of the shirt. You know what I'm saying? So why does this happen? Now for me, I have a couple opinions on it, but ultimately I think that parrots like being at the highest point. Uh, which is usually the shoulder and it offers a sense of security for them because they can survey you know their surroundings and they're right next to you and they're kind of out of reach right um, and it, it's one of those things where it's highest point and sense of security now usually this isn't a bad thing until your parrot you know automatically wants to just run to your shoulder and stay there or you know your parrot is using your shoulder as a way to deal with insecurities because it's not confident with its environment and it would just rather be on your shoulder and it doesn't want to really confront it. Now I was reading this interesting um, research study on parrots the other day and you know I kind of agreed with it that essentially said that if you don't do your parrot a, the service of desensitizing it and making it confident, then essentially what you're doing is you're preventing your parrot from living its best possible life out of fear from its environment. So that's why it's super important to desensitize and make your parrot confident so that things like shoulder rushing and it just rushing up your shoulder as soon as you, you know, have it on your hand isn't an issue. But there's a couple reasons why that happens and let's talk a little bit more about that. So first and foremost, we wanna understand that you know, the shoulder for your parrot is a privilege and not a right. So you see this all the time where, you know, you can easily get your parrot on your shoulder, but sometimes what happens, you go to pick up your parrot and then they're like, no, nah, I'm gonna take a bite out of your, your hand because they don't wanna get off because they see it as a reward and the act of them coming off is not a reward, so they would rather be up there. That's one thing to consider, and I typically don't recommend that you actually shoulder your parrot, especially if it's a brand new bird that you're not comfortable with. For example, if I ever get a new bird or I'm holding somebody else's bird and I'm interacting with it, I'm not gonna put it on my shoulder because I just don't know how it's gonna interact with me or um, you know what it's thinking, right? But the other important thing why I recommend not shouldering is because you know if you have a parrot that doesn't step off every time you ask it to, you're potentially gonna run into problems like biting or aggression or things like this in terms of coming off the shoulder. So I typically don't recommend it until your parrot's a little bit more tame. So with Elfie, Elfie, come here, buddy. Elfie will 99% of the time step on and step off the shoulder. That's not a problem for him. And that's why I let him go up there. By the way, Elfie loves being on my shoulder. So he definitely sees that as a reward. So the other thing too, you know, the other reason why sometimes I'm not as comfortable with, with people parroting their shoulders, especially when they're just kind of getting started is, um, you know, if you have any jewelry, if you have any earrings, if you have anything on glasses on your face, anything like that, you know, parrots beaks are meant to crack things that are super hard, like a nut. If you ever have a macaw on your shoulder, it can crack a walnut like that. I mean, imagine what it can do uh, to your jewelry or if it takes a bite, you know, out of you. And sometimes these bites, if they, you know, parrots do bite when they're on your shoulder, they're not necessarily bites out of aggression because in the wild, let's say you were outside with your parrot or your parrot saw something out of the window that it didn't know what it was and it freaked it out. The first thing it's gonna do is probably yell really loud. The second thing that it's gonna do is probably nip you or bite you to let you know that there's danger out there, let's go. So to avoid those accidental bites and you know, screaming right next to your ear. This is why I typically don't recommend that you shoulder your parrot unless, you know, you feel very confident and you're tame uh, with your bird having it up there, stepping on, stepping off, and there's not really an issue. So one of the main reasons why parrots rush to shoulders is like I had mentioned before, it's usually because of the way uh, that you hold your hand. So if you ever look at yourself and the way that you hold your parrot, I see a lot of people when they grab a parrot, they're kind of, you know, they're kind of doing this with their hand and they don't even notice it. Well, what happens naturally when you do this, your parrot wants to start walking up and going to the highest point. Um, 
So make sure that you have your hand held upright, like so, so that your parrot can feel comfortable and secure on your hand. You know, you start doing this, it's gonna start traveling up, it's gonna be like, what's going on here? And naturally that handhold position leads your parrot going all the way up your shoulder, right? So with that being said, 90 degree handhold position. Another thing that I recommend to prevent your parrot from shoulder rushing is to just have it get used to what I call, you know, the soft foot grab. And essentially all that is, is, you know, taking your thumb and gently pressing it against your parrot's foot. And I typically do this with Elfie uh, when I'm walking around with him around the house, just in case, you know, he gets scared, something spooks him and he doesn't fly off somewhere. Um, this is just what I recommend, but this is also gonna help get your parrot used to, hey, you know, the hand is where you wanna be. Um, the soft foot grab is just, you know, there as a, as a safety when you're walking them around uh, the house, but also to, you know, control a little bit more about the direction that they're trying to go and, and prevent them from shoulder rushing as much. Another thing that I recommend you do is essentially reinforcing um, your parrot positively for stepping off your shoulder. So let's say your parrot is on your shoulder and for whatever reason, you know, your parrot doesn't want to come off, what we can do is go back to what we know that works. And what we know that works is positive reinforcements, positive reinforcement through treats. And essentially what that would look like is, you know, uh, let's say you have your parrot here and you're asking him to step up, you know, you would have your treat in one hand and the hand on the other, asking it to step up and you can just have your parrot come over to your hand and essentially come up to step up and, and grab the treat. All right, let's try that again. And now it's gonna start learning, hey, whenever I go to step up or, you know, to step up and get off the shoulder, good things actually come from me stepping off the shoulder, so it's not seen so much as a negative thing, right? Another thing that you can do is to essentially grab your uh, target stick and clicker and try to target your bird off of your shoulder to get him used to that. And what that could look like is essentially taking your hand and, and targeting your parrot down your hand with that target stick and clicker and positively reinforcing it for coming off. Good bird, buddy. Yeah. It's easy to get off the shoulder when there's a little snack, isn't there? All right, buddy, you ready? Come on. Good bird. Where you going, Alfie? The fun's over here, buddy. Alfie's uh, having a good time back there. All right, buddy, come here. There you are. But yeah, guys, that's what I recommend that you start doing to uh, make sure that your parrot stops shoulder rushing is, you know, number one, identify why it's happening. You know, is it a sense of insecurity? Um, does it see it as a right and not a privilege? Is it not, you know, looking to step off uh, peacefully, so to speak? You know, does it like looking to bite you when it steps off? If it is, you know, let's start using positive reinforcement to target it off your hand or to use the treat as a reward for coming off the shoulder onto the hand and you start building that good habit with your parrot for stepping off. So guys, another good thing to establish positive training sessions, a good relationship with your parrot and help this shoulder rushing process to essentially go away is partly due to how you're feeding your parrot, when you feed it, and the type of quality food that it's eating. So I have created a how-to guide on parrot feeding, uh, nutrition, and training that's available as a free download in the description section below. Make sure to check that out, guys. Thank you for watching. Alan here and Elfie signing out for the day, and we will see you guys next time.